Alright, hello everybody, this is Demon coming back for another round of Final Fantasy XIV. Yay, finally back into it. Alright, well, for you guys, you're finally getting back into it. To me, it's never ended. So, we're gonna head back into the game. Uh, if I remember right, we completed some tasks for those, for the, uh, sun people. Those guys floating up in the high sky. We did their missions, luckily we were able to achieve them. Um... And gain some freedom, but it's only for me and Guzetsu. Uh, fortunately, Hien and Lisa are held captive, uh, so that if we either try to escape, we die, blah blah blah, they're kept as slaves, blah blah blah. But we gotta talk here and talk to the Dothral, aka the Undying Ones. Unfortunately, when we ended the last episode, one of them, two of them were attacked by wild beasts, one survived injured, the other one was injured. Oh, I better turn this off too. Oh, let's go and talk to them. How he died matters not. Gesser was a great warrior. He will return to us in time. Not soon enough, Hatun. The Nardom is nearly upon us. Mayhap we should cancel restraint until after. I do not understand. If Gesser is dead, how should he return? Silence! You come to spy on us, knowing naught of our ways. We know you are fearless, and that you are called the Undying Ones. That is true. None are braver than the Dothal, for we do not fear death. With death, a warrior must dance boldly, fearlessly, for thus does his soul burn bright. Then, in death, his soul shines white, exalted. The flesh rots, but the soul endures. And ere the seasons have turned, so he shall return. When he is glimpsed in the eyes of a newborn, he is blessed with the same name, that he may grow into a great warrior once more. You mean to tell me these newborn babes and fallen warriors are one and the same? Madness! Oh, they're pissed. I gave you leave to observe, not to insult our beliefs. Have care what you say. Otherwise, do as you will. I think it's that's it just pissed them off. He really pissed them off. Yep. Such a tap was in their eyes, I have never known, but for the soul to live on as they say, it's something they cannot easily escape except. Do you, they truly believe this? All of them, the death in there can be rebirth, retribution. In any event, we came here in search of information. We cannot leave without speaking with her people. Well, Coco, Jesus. I know you. Reunion, the travels of the mole girl. March you after I left uh, the Oranair, one's from Doma, others I, others I cannot place. My name is Coco, welcome to Dothral Ka. Hmm, Coco sounds to your, uh, sounds to you in the name of a woman. Well, of course, that would be because it is. A died a woman was reborn a man, it is, no, it is of no moment, the soul is the soul and the flesh is the flesh. But you scoff. Uh, many would, many look uh, only to the name and the flesh and let these things dictate their perceptions. Consider Sadu Katan. Three times before she died a man, yet she returns as a woman before. Yet she is no less fierce, and any outsider foolish enough to think so will learn the truth to their peril. People weird. I tend to agree with Gazetsu. People weird. 
present or not, was slain by my boy. We were childhood friends, he and I, before he fell and returned. A master of the bow. It's good to see that he retains his skill. I don't even know that. These beliefs are weird. Cycle of death and rebirth? They're just simply that. Take me. I died in battle with the hawk go. The earnestly did I fight, and so I returned. Alas, we know naught of our past lives. I must learn what it means to be Koya again and again. It's difficult to remember everything, but important. That's weird. I just believe you died and just come back and do something better. You always sit there and think you're somebody who died already. It's You're not learning anything. Ah, uh, and you have completed with your inquiries? Yeah, of course. Ah, it is said, it is, she said, they believe with every fiber of the being that their bravest warriors will be reborn. As for me, I observe some of the warriors at practice. They are as formidable as the Ornea, perhaps more, and their weapons are as equal as well. And while they do not lack in skill and resources, it's plain to see that their numbers are inferior. This has been an educational experience, to say the least. Yet everything we have learned is common knowledge to the people of the steppe. It will not be enough to earn our enough to earn our comrades their freedom. Not less than the Dolphos plans for the northern will suffice, I fear. Hell, I have never been one for skulking about. I will go to Sadu and see what secrets I can prize from her lips. Okay. Now we go talk to the crazy lady. Is that there's nowhere near? Why are we concerning? Ah, the spies return, and they have learned naught. They have so, but no longer. Though you hide it well, I know you have devised some manner of cunning strategy for the Nottom. Out with it, I say. Where will you see, Dylan? We are Dothral. Others rely on tricks and traps, have huge lives. We need naught but our own strength. We meet the enemy in battle and kill him. That's why I cared not, to, uh, cared not what you did from the first. There is naught for you to learn. Tell your masters to meet us on the field and make ready to ride with their ancestors. Confidence is plain, as is your strength. For you are the most pr prosperous tribe. Prosperous of tribes. The mole you mock are few, but so too are you. Why? Now a glorious death is to be celebrated, it is yet death. While we kill many, many are killed in turn. In the wake of our battles, the soul drinks deep of the blood of the fallen, their bodies piled high. Not all are born again, only the bravest. Yet one cannot return unless there is a vessel to inherit the soul. And glorious die ere they birth children. Then that is that. Even the brave warrior who finds a vessel will for many years remain a shadow of his former self. He falls to his elders to endure until he is ready to accept his responsibilities. Never will we meet our enemies in battle without fear, such as our way. Even when our numbers dwindle, if we die, so be it. But know that we fight to live, not to die. Thus they'll train and make ready for the day, but they do not rush to meet it, not until we have done our duty. Saruk Tonk, Sio's body has been given to the Sands. And our part is done. Rest, warrior. The Nodom draws near, and you will need your strength. Tend to find the Nodum, you should return to the mole and make ready, but know that when we next we meet, you and yours will die. Or you can find it for us and live. Thank on it, travelers. We shall, but if you permit me to find a question here we part, where is this place that Kassir has been laid the rest? Though I knew him not, I was there in his end. I wish to say a few words. Rights for the flesh. I've heard of this. Madness. I say for his body is of the earth now, he will not hear you. But you may speak to the sand, if that is your will. They lie to the west, make haste for uh, Gadon. For the Gaiden may have already caught his scent. My apologies, this will take but a moment. You turn to your mole and die with them. If you want to yellow as you go, they are fond of secrets and stratagems and will not hesitate to involve you. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm here. 
I don't understand the point of believing in reincarnation. It's better just to know that you died. I think I'd want to come back to this again. Oh my god, I'd have to replay every single Final Fantasy game again. Not really. Especially if you came back with your memories. Could you imagine that? It's like you come back knowing you died. That's depressing. It's like, yeah, but you lived again. It's just like, yeah, but I died. It's like, well, how'd you die? It's like, like a bitch. <laughs> I got ran over by grandma. You have any idea how much I want to kick her ass now? Hi, bitch. Left for the vultures. It seems an insult to the man. But the soul lives on, they say. These bodies, no more than empty husks, returning to the earth. Seen through those eyes, I suppose the sight is almost comforting. Pardon me? When first I heard the tales, I could not help but scoff. Another queer tribe, I thought, with still queerer customs. Yet having borne witness to their rites, I cannot deny there is a certain logic to it all. A samurai will die for his lord without hesitation or regret. But this is not because he delights in such sacrifice. It is because he has faith his death will serve a higher purpose. There is an awakening in that instant. When the heart sings, and the blood burns, and his soul, his soul finds peace. There is comfort in that. Pop ace. Have star Taino doom days. Oh, now the rest run like a bunch of little bitches. Nay, we dare not permit ourselves that luxury, my friend, tempting though it may be. Not while our loved ones yet remain in chains. Let's do it. Go get our boys back. Well then, we must all be on our way, even Gesea. Let us return to the Dawn Throne and pray that our tale was enough to satisfy our most radiant Taskmaster. Wait, do we just travel back? Please say yes. Oh! There's a god. I'll oh, cup of coffee. Killing that coffee. Well, if there is a way out, I can't see it. Shame we didn't learn much before they locked us up. Tis little wonder the Oranir won the last Nardum. These people leave naught to chance. 
Yen, I've had something on my mind for a while, and now... In Alamigo, where I was born, I found it strange that for all the people who supported the Resistance, there were just as many who didn't. But then we came to this part of the world and met with the Confederacy and lots of ordinary domains, and almost every single one of them seemed content to just put up with things, no matter how bad they got. They, they all had their reasons, of course, and, and it's not like I don't understand them, but... The thought of it made me so... angry. After everything they'd been through, everything the Empire had done to them, how could they not rise up? How could they not fight back? People are pragmatic creatures at heart. They hold on to hope only until they taste true hardship. Then comes fear and regret. Safer not to dream, they conclude at last. For even should a day go by without some new disappointment, the next will only bring more of the same. And so they choose the more sensible option. They learn to abide the indignities and injustices, the pain and the shame, to accept them as normal. Such is the lot of most men. One cannot expect to spur them to action at a moment's notice. But if one who has known their pain can convince them to strive for something greater and rekindle the fire in their hearts. Then they will remember what they have lost and they will rise. I had someone like that once. I didn't know who I was or who I wanted to be and he risked his life to show me the way. Then honor him by doing the same for others, with all your might and main. You know, when my homeland fell 25 years past, I was still in my mother's womb. Never have I known a free Doma. But my father did as did many of my fallen comrades, as do many of my people now. It may be no more than a dream to me, but if I do not chase it, then who will? The way you carry it all, you're just the same. Hmm? As you? Oh, no. Not me. Definitely not me. I meant the warrior of light. Out there, somewhere. Doing what needs to be done. I won't have you put me to shame any longer. I'm going to seize the future I want, with my own two hands. Hey, we're still here. Great part I trust, good, then let us away. Now we gotta go talk to the Magna. Uh, well. Perfect time. Why is that? He end seems like the kind of guy that just seems like he never got to experience anything, but it seems like his father had a huge impact on him, so it just helped a lot. It says my demotion. Free it all. Flip a table if you got to. Tell the Magna the truth, and if our most radiant brother is unsatisfied, it's my pleasure to put it into the charade. Oh god. Oh. 
All that you have seen and heard, your knowledge, I would have it. They plan on nothing. No streak of tragedy, did you say? That is well. I expect as much. Dothra are not schemers. They live only for war in the contest of strength and will. Your fierce eye to face one is court death. Meet us on the field to make ready to ride with your ancestors. Such were the words of the Katon uh, Sadu. Oh, he's like, oh, no, no, no. Speak not that devil's name in the presence of the most radiant. Pay to stay, old Dothra, yet you will not hear the name of the leader. At the last nod, when she gave great offense, but his radiant brother called to him the women of the steppe. He might look into their eyes and see if Nama looked back. Thank dawn, that fell Ugan. She spat curses and called forth flames. She scorched the soil and refused to present herself. Three days and nights had we fought to claim the dawn throne. Still, she shows brother Magni such disrespect, such defiance. By right, she should pay with her life. Speak not another word, Bartu, or you will pay with yours. Oh, damn. Her words are air, as the domen say. However, they are proof of your service to the sun. Go and fetch the others from their cell. All I hear is she... He tried to see her, and she gave him the finger, and then he got pissy. It's hilarious. Basically, just flicked him off and said, Nah, bro, I'm good. My lord, at least you are unharmed. Thanks to you and I, Ian, we are free to return to Mole alone. I indeed, you have proven yourselves to be warriors brave and true. You may return to the Mole and make ready for Nadam on one condition. Find Nadam is pretty bound to it. Swear here and now to abide by the law of the step, to accept the serene authority of the Kargan, whomever so it may be. We swear. That goes double for you, though, bro. All right. Let's not be too quick to count our blessings. We are still win the autumn. In a way, being forced to stay behind may actually have been a good thing. I had a lot of time to think, and usually I don't. Well done, my friends. I knew you would not fail. I should be glad to hear of your experience with the dull throw, but as time is of the essence, let us converse en route. Come on, Sarah, and the others are waiting. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no real way of getting over there. Actually, wait a minute. There is a quicker way. And do I want to spend money, though? I guess not. Yeah, you know, I'll just run there. I was actually curious because I couldn't remember where would be the fastest route. Fastest route? Jump off the edge, land down below, run there. Whee! Ah! Oh. Fell from that height. First thing is, first you're dead. And even if there's a, like a point. 1% chance of any type of survival. The first thing you're gonna say if you live is just one big F bomb. Kid. That's all it's gonna be. Because that's what I would probably scream. Ah, let's just run. Get the run real little fast. Although I will say this much I do feel like ending the episode a little early. Not because I want to. But because, like, it's easier for me to do that, and then I can just, like, spend the next episode focusing solely on this. It's the only problem I run into. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Do I do that? Hmm. I don't know, maybe we could just talk to everybody and see what they had. Then we can always head outside and end the episode, and then... Yeah, screw it, that's what we do. A player? Oh, there's a player. Oh, I think that person, I saw them earlier. Actually, you know what? I might end the episode.
Yeah, you know what? I am going to end the episode. Oof. So, all I got to say to this, guys, we did... This episode might get a little bit shorter than what I was expecting. Um, I don't mean it to be, but... Yeah. All I got to say is this. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and come back, ladies and gents. More Final Fantasy fourteen. And as far as I understand it, we are going to come back here and talk to Serena and tell of what we learned through the other tribes. So, I will be seeing you guys next time. Thanks.